Okay, so I, I bring greetings from Bob Barker. Um, <laughs> He, he will be 90 in December. He is still absolutely um, a force to be reckoned with, but he obviously had short notice about this and didn't go to the East Coast. So these are, uh, these are Bob's words, and he, he's aware of the legislation, he's studied the bills, and well, here I go. Thank you, Assemblyman Tedisco, Senator Ball, and New York animal production, protection activists for making this day possible and for every day working tirelessly to combat animal cruelty on the many levels for which it exists. You know, when New York sneezes, the rest of the country catches a cold. You are setting great and necessary precedent with Animal Advocacy Day, and it gives me much joy to be in your presence for this purpose. Humane treatment of animals is not an issue of liking or not liking them. It is a matter of integrity and choosing to act in a civilized rather than a barbaric manner. Now, I am aware of a number of animal protection bills currently before the New York State Legislature. They are all important and they all call for long overdue change in our way of thinking about all creatures, from majestic thoroughbreds to the smallest of wildlife. I would like to speak briefly to two of these bills. The horse slaughter bill, which would stop horses from being slaughtered in New York, and transported to Canada for slaughter, and the Consolidated Crimes Bill, which would put these animal cruelty crimes in the New York's penal code, where they once were, 